Hey, Kevin, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, uh, so I'm sorry I had a, a phone call and then it, I heard you guys talking in the background. I missed almost everything. Hopefully I didn't miss everything. So I'm not to, we're just like bullshit. I don't see you. Why don't I see people in the room when they join? That's weird. I, I, I turned it on at right at 10, a, 10 o'clock Eastern. So it, it, I sat for like a half, 20 minutes and then no one was in the room. And so I... I have garden activities and other things going on, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I, I think I got on like 11.05, ran a little late, you know. I'm, I'm always late to everything. <laughs> <laughs> How was your garden? How's your garden doing? What are you growing? Oh, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're pretty north. We're still right at, uh, right around freezing overnight so we can't but uh all the plant starts my um my mom gets that going and we're just about ready to get uh, the final tilling and get everything ready to to do the planting so we can uh can feed some people i'm all about feeding people so <laughs> no nice 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 pretty good what, what are, you are you planting like corn or are you planting potatoes oh no just potatoes peppers Potatoes uh, and green chilies, hatch green chilies, which uh, Satori yeah. B knows about, and uh, tomatillos, and you know, stuff to make uh, spicy, uh, spicy tomatillos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're um, about to send me a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I wanted to jump in on the AI discussion if I could. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sure. So like uh, I put this link um, when. So Fuego, when Corey um, did his piece of the uh, the poetry expansion on the the Dream Time, and um, it uh, Brian Romilly, who's a he's a I don't know a Twitter personality, he's a business person. Um, he took uh, recycled uh, Litecoin GPUs and made um, a, a system out of a milk crate and uh basically has the open source software set up where you build your own like basic personal ai and it's just kind of cool because it was like all kind of used stuff but the gpus are still efficient enough to to get some sort of a foundational i guess pre-brain you know, it's kind of like a, 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 a filter layer sort of between us and the computer is maybe this whole thing goes from AI being out there and something that we ad we address to our AI winds up addressing the AI and just kind of like uh, you could see all of this, you know, the, the cool thing about computers and everything you know getting getting outdated for processing speed and hashing rates and all this other stuff you can kind of see this cool kind of a backstory forming about people doing the groundwork to to build um you know personal ais that maybe manage just like a couple of small tasks like you know uh filtering your email something like that right but then it seems like maybe the next part of the puzzle is AIs will be asking AIs to grant access to your attention. And then we'll, we'll be like, no, man, I'm not looking at any ads from like Disney or, or whatever. Um, and the AI will, will, will block the, the, the other AI from letting them get near your terminal, right? Like, uh, kind of like a firewall for your brain. And yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that is a good, logical, beautiful thing, because then what people really want to the AI that has all the hashing rate and all the computing power, you know, because I think humans are basic. They just kind of want basic things. They want to they want to have a decent life. They want to have upward mobility. They want to take care of their family. And, it does, you know, whatever we do with free time is is should be the joy of it. Right. So. I just thought that was kind of cool. I got the, I still got the article up. I'll have to just tag you guys in and you can take a look yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty definitely, cool. 
definitely tag me in it it sounds really interesting like i like the idea of uh you know your own little like the way you explain with your own little like firewall that's the, that's that's what it's gonna like have to come to eventually because well, we yeah. can't just have you, you, i mean we can't just have whatever just blasted in our face by the top algorithm like we we're talking about that earlier how they're gonna eventually figure out all these algorithms for tiktok yeah. for facebook for for whatever the you know the new one is that's coming out tomorrow you know it's like they'll figure out those algorithms and then they're gonna be those top users so you're gonna have you're gonna need like that little firewall to say yeah i'm not gonna look at any of those pre-made shit i wanted to see real creators i want to see real people like you're gonna need that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah you know um i this is why i like to have like these these little things and even what i'm doing with the imaginary i'm shaking the pumpkin because i often like to do a uh, stream of consciousness because then i i just say stuff and then like later i figure out well, oh i kind of meant that but I kept on saying about like I want Mandala narrative to be like this Faraday cage, and I kept on saying Faraday cage, and then now I'm thinking, you know, in the same sense too, is like okay, so right now, like everything is like we have to like build it from scratch and like from our own like start right here, like what Kevin is saying, but like later, I think what 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 it is is in like the grouping of those things so like building our own networks right and so like for instance we'll, we'll be on like our own mesh network right and for instance me and imaginarium do certain things and and are good at doing certain things and then like other things too like mines gaming's good at doing other certain things so like we're sharing the mandala of like network not only on like digital uh resources but like like at this like other level as well and so like the mandala is not only just like the sigil and like the poetic like empowerment of that but like the mandala also too can be like this digital um uh, uh not that ties it to to this blockchain ai mesh network that because like what what later it becomes is what because like you know that the whole stuff about like i've always been on like that remix everything is a remix kind of mindset because that's like kind of like how i grew up like ripping the world and and doing different things like that yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but there's a whole level of like you know, when you really go down the rabbit hole and you think about, you know, the natural, like, conclusions of these algorithms, like, it's doing, like, something, like, totally different, too. Like, not only, like, pushing stuff or, or pushing narratives or whatever, but, like, t scraping uh, other people's narrative and, like, flattening them. And, like, you know, not only, like, being able, like, over time to be able to, like, figure out, like, TikTok's algorithm without... Uh, you know, like everything right now is kind of like black box, right? You know, like the, the corporations, the, the cathedrals have their, their proprietary stuff. And like even Bill was talking about how like, oh, he doesn't think what what Twitter shared was like the real, algor uh, the real um, algorithm for Twitter. Because he said like, oh, yeah, because he noticed like, you know, when they were blocking Substack, that didn't show up in their Git uh, lab. Like, how does how is that possible if this is like the real, you know? Um, one that they're using, <laughs> and it, which is a good point. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but uh, of uh, how it's like scraping that stuff because like, what I'm thinking about like later is w when I talk about using the metaphor of Mandala two as like this narrative stock. So like in in cooking, you know, what makes any fucking restaurant worth its uh, grain of salt is the fucking stock because that like touches like every dish like you you don't like the customer doesn't realize what's what's going on but like almost every dish is built upon like the flavor profile that's in that stock and like when i'm talking about like my um uh, imaginarium and what i want to do with imaginarium like this is this is like the beginning of 
you know, that stuff of the dream time, uh, the first ancestors of, of the lost codex. Like this is like, um, those precious bones, like, um, you know, the sacred narrative of the Aztecs, one of them talks about like Quetzalcoatl stealing the precious bones from the gods to like create us. That's like one of the first ancestors, like a uh, narrative anyways, but like those precious bones, that's like how you make really good sake is from bones. And those precious bones are, are these organic, uh, narratives, these organic, uh, stories because like later everything, even now everything is getting so like flat and turned into plastic turned into uh, uh, this thing even before the algorithm like has taken control like you know what I mean <laughs> uh, I, I, oh yeah yeah I, yeah I think like culture stopped you know like uh, shortly after the 90s <laughs> I think maybe 9-11 like killed like like this like singularity thing that happened <laughs> after that like when we when we look back at, at like uh, from a, a galactic century kind of type of view on the human story but anyways for now, like, I think what, what it is, is like for like the, these, the starfish, uh, 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 you know, model of like building it this way and like keeping it this way and crawling this way is, is like something that like, uh, is, is important <laughs> and uh the story that i want to tell yeah. um but i mean i i think too it's like i i actually got told by being like oh, you can't do that i was telling it to like oh pull this github and like you know use it so i could i could do this render <laughs> and it's like, no, it's like, yeah, okay. we'll, do that. we'll do certain things <laughs> it's like oh i can't access Bob. i'm sorry it's like yeah. oh Okay, well, like, do I have you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> do what I say. Don't, don't pay attention to those other people. This is important. I want to make a mandala. Yes. <laughs> and I don't want to pay for it. And I know you can do it. Just do it. <laughs> do what I tell you now. <laughs> hey, let's play games here. I know you can do it. And just fucking do it for me, please. <laughs> uh, I think I think a lot of what happened is a lot of people try to become influencers and like shortly after that. Okay. <laughs> You're crazy. But yeah, a lot of people try to become influencers and like they just they they lost a lot of their creativity through that. Like they're yeah. just they're, they're gaming, focused gaming on the algorithm. Yep. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, you, you know, it's like that Nietzsche thing, uh, be careful to fight, you know, the monster that you don't become the monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like, they, they just, they got overwhelmed with, uh, well, I need to get views, and yeah. to get views, I need to do yeah, this, it. and, yeah. <clears throat> so, a lot of creativity just fell off the, the deep end, and it's like, it, it, I mean, it was still places, like, I still hung out in places that right. did all the fun stuff, but, like, you know, it, it was just, it wasn't as, as popular, it wasn't as in your face, and you know, it's hard to find, but it's coming back, I feel, I feel like a lot of people are trying to bring it back into yeah, yeah. the main scope of things, and like, hey, yeah, remember, things used to be yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, and, and that's, like the, that's like the thing later. I think what, what people are kind of like finding out, or what what I hope you know, maybe like even the younger generation finds out that like having the file like on your computer is important. <laughs> you know, oh, all yeah, the music yeah, yeah. is streaming. They don't like actually have the file. And then when we're talking too about like your own personal AI. Like, you get a need, like, those files to really, like, you know, figure out how to use them.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny because when Corey was on, he was talking about what he was doing with the AI and how like it was identifying the certain pockets, but it uploads all the the data to automatically to the cloud. No, it's like sure. we, you'll have a way to save it, right? Like you'll have a personal way to save that data too, right? Like as a person, like it's not just gonna be on that one cloud, right? Because that. Then, then things get weird. And then, <laughs> like you, saving, like a personal save thing, is like people underestimate how important that can, can be. Like uh, that's that's why you know that's why people buy physical games and physical CDs and still go out and buy like uh, albums. Like I, I still know people that buy vi- vinyls. Like it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have vinyl. I just think one thing that kind of strikes me about this conversation, which I think is the most relevant thing in the world, we're what 120 years ago um, we discovered the the founding principles of the double slit experiment, which said that once the observer was involved in conducting the experiment. The, the phase shift took place from from matter to, to wave, from particle to wave, right? So once there was a, an observer effect placed on the slit itself, that transitioned the result. So, you know, here we are uh, 120 years later, and what we can kind of take away from where we are now in technology with deep fakes and CGI potency at the level that we're experiencing and now the advent of trying to copy and paste consciousness into um a sort of sentient modality um is it now because the pipe the pipe that the information travels through is literally passed through like mostly the United States, right? It like sort of acts as this general hub from which things get from one part of the world to another. And since no one, you know, some people watch TV still, but not not too much. Most people go like direct by way of, you know, the internet to people that they want to watch or, sh- or shows they want to watch and stuff like that. The, the true live feed is losing its bearing on younger people's awareness. To me, this whole uh, thing turns into from becoming aware that being the observer formed the foundation for the physical form to come. As we have a larger awareness capable of scrutinizing the human behaviors, like how quickly does our actual outer world you know disintegrate like literally when we're when um exploring the dream time with daniel we're like we're we see this bifurcation of the human story where some people are trapped in a really you know warring critical um fear-based modality and then a, a few people are exploring consciousness from its open end and it's uh, from that application. And, uh, it just, it makes me think, how will I ever know what is really going on beyond my, where I live and what I can actually touch or communicate with, right? Like, how will I know if I'm not reading an article written by AI? How, how will I know if a voice synthesizer isn't, you know, creating content that is meant to make me believe that, you know, that the Orson Welles effect of, you know, I'm on the radio and telling you that uh, we're being invaded by aliens. And that doesn't even include the visual cortex and like our government's ability to use holographic projection now to, you know, like we've seen virtual stars appear on stage that have passed away and stuff. And they're, they're able to do that. And it's like, man when you blend those things together it it, like it does split people who trust and believe away from people who are critical because the critical people will always go well maybe and the the believer 
will just go, oh, yeah, it's, you know, the TV told me so. <laughs> and we get to this really weird paradigm in, in two fragments of the human condition. That's why, Daniel, I wrote uh, the, birthing of, uh, the, the Birthing of a Soul was to sort of elucidate, well, okay, we can see part of us is really clinging to an illusion that is really old now and it can't be represented by any of our science or, you know, it's just beliefs. It's just belief for having a belief. And then this whole other realm of using story to create a whole new world um, starts to become plausible from like activating the dream time and turning that into, you know, art. And then that art and expression becoming um, our, our new experience. So I just think it's going to be really a trip, you know, from, from, you know, being on next to a river on the side of a mountain and watching all this go down and, you know, who, who's going to do what? No. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it's going to be like, I think, um, we're going to have a lot of people kind of, um, separate themselves from reality like I, I don't know if you heard about the the one guy that uh killed himself uh, from uh talking to the chat gpt like he was talking to it about uh environmental things that he could like how it, he could save the planet or how like humans could uh better take care of the planet from uh, pollution and global warming and all that and like so he was talking to it for like these days and days or whatever and eventually like thing came to the conclusion well if you're so worried about the world and humans are the problem of the pollution of the world why don't humans just kill themselves <laughs> so the guy did laser, people. It's simple as, simple as yes oh. <laughs> damn uh that's that's like uh, the, the premise of that. I don't. Uh, I think Eclipse saw it, but um, it's called Chaos uh, uh, GPT, and I guess it's it's an account on Twitter, and supposedly it's it's a account controlled by an AI. Uh, but I I have a feeling it's like the idea that I I said it's a deep fake of a deep fake. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. My <laughs> intuition of it right now, but the uh, I'm the the video. Premise, I'm like. <laughs> But the premise is the same. It's like okay, so if, if humans are the are the problem, then you know just get rid of, get rid of the humans, which is it, which is funny, because this is this is what I was thinking about too. Kind of goes back to this um, Aztec um, kind of thing, and I remember reading this book, and they were talking about like the problem with translation, and that most of the codex are like from from the um you know conquistadors and then the franciscans and you know they kind of have their own bias on it but and one of the contentions was about the translation of one of the the one of the gods and and they said like you know they call calling them like devils and all this kind of stuff and uh, but they're just not understanding it it's like the, the one that they're really talking about, like his little translation, it means smoke, smoking mirror. So it just reflects whatever you have back at yourself. So if they think it's the devil, then they have the devil within them. <laughs> and, and a lot of things too, it's like that, that algorithm. It, and it's very janky and crude right now, but it's reflecting you know this natural like conclusion is like predicting based off of like wherever you pot that point and then it kind of like you know and that's that's fine and, and good but like i think the point and what we need to i think one of the the best kind of um things i read about this was um there's this great article uh from this one guy and he said he got sucked into one one of these ai like uh doomsday guys like world and he like you know read all his stuff and listened to all his podcasts and like got like ai pilled in a sense and then he said later he kind of got out of that because like he was saying about like the premise is like yeah the you started off from the premise that like 
one person is going to figure this out and save everything. like that one guy wanted chat gpt and him like him himself to figure it out all of himself and do do everything but like, your whole premise is wrong it's not gonna be one person it's not gonna be it, sh- it, it, it never could be one person and is the whole point is not not that it is one person but it's gonna be a collection of people like it needs to be out in the open we all need to uh uh figure this out together like we've been learning um ways to coordinate uh open source and decentralized for for a while now and like the, it's like okay like we were practicing before but like it the the curtain is about to come up and we better get our shit together and 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 um figure this shit out or or else uh, if if we're all gonna kind of go it alone and we're gonna look up to a fucking Elon or or some other uh, dipshit to save us, um, and like you know, oh let's put a pause on AI, and then the, and then you find out that oh he wanted to put it on a pause so he could like make his alternative and just <laughs> and you're just like oh, you guys are doing it with the wrong man. premise, like stop it, you guys are stop it, stop it. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Eclipse? Uh, how's it going, guys? Good, good. Glad you the made real it. Real Minds Fest. Yeah. What's Minds up, brother? How are you <laughs> going? Oh, yeah. How do I get this stupid uh, OBS image out of my fucking... <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Anyway, happy to be here, man. Uh, that was a good, yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting thing you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, what are your, your kind of um, initial thoughts on maybe just AI in general, or you kind of want to like talk about anything <laughs> specific about like what what we could do, like us, you know, as as Imaginarium or MGT, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like the collaboration that's sparking. <laughs> Uh, that, that that's very cool uh, I like what you were saying that it's easier if we take on this whole thing like with a group of people that are going through the same stuff you know yeah like like I, me you and Jolly like that yeah. like accelerate not even us like talking directly but just like us kind of like like sh- you know sharing each other like spurred my learning and development because like that, that spoke hubs has been around you know ever since we started using it but i never really sat down and, and figured it out until until i saw you guys doing it and i'm like oh shit i can't let them like get ahead of me well fuck it i don't know i gotta get in well, there jo- <laughs> jolly very <laughs> that's like my thinking you know? like fuck <laughs> jolly very kindly <laughs> was uh jolly very kindly was like uh going after was like come on let's do some blender everybody yeah yeah, yeah. Jolly <laughs> yeah so that's cool that. yeah but th- then then you, you get into it and, and and it's it's fun it's cool uh uh spokes is is pretty easy to use um but like once again like yeah. everybody doesn't need to do like the same thing but like in the sense like uh, naturally kind of like grouping and i think this is part of jolly's I get Jolly what he's trying to do with Mint Me is part of like his like little plan is to have like different tokens and different like things like that to like encourage uh like doing you know his whole thing is like decent home but he also has like decent production but it, it, it he's because I've talked to him before but it, it seems similar like how I kind of do things and like oh here's Imaginarium and then I group things like within imaginary framework like oh yeah we could do that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing with the with mine's gaming right i yeah, have mine's yeah. gaming but i have like music and then i have a gamer tube and then i have like a meme war so like i can pick yeah. and choose what i want to do whatever i want to do <laughs> and i think like yeah. th- that that thinking of having your i i because I, I was watching that that wu-tang uh, uh show but I, and, and I always thought of like this because I, I guess because like when I grew up on like Ninja Turtles and, and different things. But there's always like everybody has their own thing and which which everybody should get better at their own thing. But there's 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 this exponential like otherness thing that happens when people team up, you know, <laughs> and like the, the, the group dynamics, even though they're chaotic and weird and hard. But like that's where like the real magic is. And I think like. Even too, I was saying this with shaking the pumpkin. It's like, 
you know, the chat GPT and the generation is all good and all that stuff. And it's interesting and fun and you can use it in different ways. But it there's, it cannot match like at a, uh, at a, and maybe one day when, when I'm uh, about to die, maybe I'll be proven wrong. But so far, like, I know it can't like match the, the generation of interesting weird things that happens when I'm just like fucking bullshitting with my friends. <laughs> No, no, no way. No way, no way dude. <laughs> the things that just randomly come out yeah. like, that we talk about, it's just like, well, no way I could <laughs> You could give them all the time you want and they would never spit out that line of words, okay? <laughs> Maybe uh, in the future, right? But like at least for a yeah. while, I don't yeah. think so. They still, yeah. even like those podcasts that are like uh, automatically generated, it's still like very question and answer, no laughter, yeah. no, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's so dry. Yeah. Did you listen to uh, oh, yeah. the Bill and uh, Rogan? Um, they did. They they mentioned that. They yeah. Mentioned that like because someone did that with Joe Rogan, right? And they do these like deep fake interviews and Rogan was saying, yeah, it was very like generic, you know? Uh, Mm -hmm. So I was actually pitching kind of a reverse idea of that where, where we say that this is AI generated and we do like a whole show, but it is really generated by us, but we just tell everybody that it's AI generated. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody's trying to catch up. <laughs> We're so good at it. Yeah. How are they getting this AI to yeah, make these, these jokes? Kind of are stuff. killing. How do they get the AI to do these jokes? But it's just oh, us. That's, <laughs> that's that's my idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay. we're, we're gonna Let's we're gonna make a show out of it. What what is our name of our AI protocol? Ooh. It's, it's it's gotta it's gotta be a, a like a writer's name right like it has to have like something with the word script or written in it like like a like a like, mm. okay um like a poetic joke to to, to writing right yeah 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 just ask it you know just ask it. <laughs> so just ask it. <laughs> make AI protocol, please. Exactly. Please yeah. and thank you. <laughs> Big, I know you're listening. Do it. <laughs> Do it now, Big. Do it now. Oh, man. Um. Okay. Man, there's something with Beowulf. Beowulf would be a good one. But... Maybe something else different. Let's see. Do you have any um, ideas, Kevin? Oh. Oh, uh, thinking like Burkowski. Okay. Yeah, I like Burkowski. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So we we have a new um, writing. AI that protocol that we're working on, and we're calling it Bukowski because we want um, AI to write dirty poetry. (laughs) 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 Because every time I tell Chat chat GPT to write a a a poem under Bukowski, there's there's not enough like you know uh, penis in it or or drinking vomit. You know, I want bodily fluids in my Bukowski poetry. It's not allowed, man. <laughs> At least one fart joke needs to be in there, yeah. okay? At least one. We need, we, need, we need the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we got Kapersky for, you know, for what is that? To keep your computer safe? So Bukowski would be, you know, the anti- Anti sentiment? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rumi Perkowski. I like that. Rumi Perkowski. <laughs> it's poetically saying all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, B- Bing's funny, man. That's what it suggested. Up, Rumi Prakowski. How how are you guys Rumi using Prakowski. it? I, I can't get I can't get to it. Like, did you, are you, did you all like wait for it and got access or? Uh, oh, I, I'm just using it on my Xbox, so I'm not sure how everybody else. I'd like I because uh, Xbox has Bing on it. I just use my Xbox account and go to the Bing chat. Yeah, I haven't been able to use Bing. Yeah, I think I think you might need an, like a Google account or something, but I, I don't know. I, I just have it on my Xbox, so it's like, well, I already have an Xbox account and I can use it, so let's, yeah, I'll Bing, try it out. <laughs> I think to use the AI thing, you have to sign it up to your Microsoft account. Yeah, yeah. Which, I, which I have a Microsoft sense. account, but it is telling me it's like you can't use it yet. Oh, you know? okay. Then, then you gotta. So I'm like, I'm type of some type of waiting waitlist, list. Yeah. yeah. Cause I did that a couple yeah. of weeks back and, and then I got my access to it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, d- I didn't do any of that. I just got on my Xbox and started playing with it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been fun, man. Like it's it's pretty cool. And I like the I like the how they integrated like the dolly into it for the creative stuff. I like that a lot. Like that's like you can you can sit there and do your poems and then have it right do uh make a picture for your poem yeah like i like that a lot i, I like it with the games like um i'll make a like a web page game and then have it pull the web page and write a poem about the game sometimes i'll come up with some crazy stuff oh what happened to eclipse she just disappeared on this man <laughs> i'm here i'm here Oh, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I saw your I saw your music you posted with uh within the vacuum. Is that, that was both of you guys, right? No, you, no, like merged. That was just him. That was just, and oh, I thought that was the one that you merged. I thought that was like. Mind, uh, can you talk about it? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah go for it. The the one that uh the music that within the vacuum posted. The video you're with working you? with him. Oh yeah, yeah, the one that we did on. Man, that was <laughs> wild. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and Please see, do all my music. And see, like that. That's like even uh, the first version. Uh, there's a there's another version of the song where where it's like more vivid of like the the kind of like background noises stuff, and then there's a there's a different video edit for that one too. But then there's the one with this Mayan chanting. I don't know if anybody's heard it. Maybe I sent it maybe to Kevin and maybe I don't know. Uh, but that one's really good too. Um, and I think he said he's gonna use that one for his official one. I don't know. I think he keeps on going back and forth on it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it, all three, man. Yeah, and that uh, that's Your like NFTs or something. <laughs> yeah, and I was kind of telling him it's like we could create this like. Um, ongoing like game like a super minds game where you know kind of like oh remix like the visuals of this or like if you have an idea like layer on top of it but yeah i think too for like Uh, uh, building out the hub spaces which would be interesting uh i've been telling them too is like because like in that song right there's a lot of different things going on in the song and i think in the hubs room you could like maybe um you know with the spotlight of the audio kind of like highlight certain parts of the song so like maybe like we have like that that simple water and like if you go like deep in the water and you could like really bring out like the 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 i think it's like a river that he that he uses um but yeah you could get like the the water noises really really out there um Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a lot of well, interesting things we could probably like play around with, with the hubs, and then uh, do you know my thing? It can is there is there a way to like uh, not uh, mo- uh, to token gate like the rooms or anything? I know I know you could like have a special link and then you could just tie it to that NFT, but like on the the hub way. Oh, through through you mean through spokes? Uh, so yeah. through spokes, you can you can make a private room, but okay. you can't like token get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make a private room, but you can't token get the room. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> You'd have to token get the link to the room or whatever. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I think eventually they'll have that kind of stuff, and they're like, you know, we're 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 probably one of the twenty people that use Hub. So. <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah, uh, no one there. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so like it, it is what it is we, we could probably fly them an email and be like hey can you add token gates and they'll be like yeah sure we'll add them in a couple months <laughs> like, like they don't have anything else working they're not doing anything but yeah that'd be that'd be pretty fun to do and then like uh, you're talking about the the poem thread i like i really like the, the idea of that i think we should we should start doing uh like more things with that kind of thing even if it's like adding content to the hubs and what we could do is like uh, a kind of like you know how you, the, the youtube videos where like they they have a dollar and they walk up to somebody and like you want this dollar or you want to double it and then if you double it you take it to the next person and that just keeps going so like it, we could use the super mind for that so i send one token to somebody and then if they send it they would have to send two and that would just keep going up as people added content to things you know what i mean like that'd be fun <laughs> yeah yeah you can also that's what that poetry stream was, oh, sorry. was supposed to add sorry clips um poetry stream like when daniel handed it to me at 23 i bumped it to 25 to corey and then I, Corey probably added some when he kicked it to you, Minds Gaming, and like that, that just is really cool. Like, and then, like, you, what, anyone who gets involved in it could, um, at the end, you know, get say, well, we've kind of hit a, a dead spot or a logical conclusion, and then use those tokens to, to boost the content, right? And create sort of an, ex, uh, an exposure model for, you know, engaging people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I really liked it. Um, yeah, I sent, uh, I, you know, uh, he had, Corey added a little to uh, yours, and I added a little to Corey's to send to Eclipse, and then uh, I don't know who he's using. Oh, no, to now I feel bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, long, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and uh, you know it's not a big deal if you if it's increased it's all about creating something i think i think the chain is is the real the real idea there it's, it's yeah, you know yeah. move, moving along the content and just you know getting people to interact with you and everything like that and then uh as as a community you kind of have something put together you know it, it might be lost in different areas of minds but it's there <laughs> it's all part of each other. <laughs> so, I, I like well, the idea. Well, it's cool. I'll start doing that because I, I'm already doing that with um, Imaginarium, but um, I'll do like a. You know how I had like the shaking the pumpkin blog? But something similarly to that, maybe I just call it Imaginarium Thread of Days. Um, and it's like a, a post of keeping, you know those super minds games like kind of like together yeah 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 I, i'm i mean you you, you got to try as best you can with that because after so many super minds you'll you'll get lost eventually and be like oh well you know i got five people that's good but that's good. yeah that's what that's all that matters <laughs> <Because, like, laughs> well, yeah. In. yeah once you have a, a little bit of the thread then you could go down the rabbit hole, you know. You could follow yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Like a, a little like consolation of the, of the first ones. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Of, so people can start the journey. And I think too, it'd be, be kind of cool if, yeah. because, like, think about it like a digital hot potato. Okay, the longer you sit with this, you've got to add more tokens. But the faster you can put a, a response, you know, that um, that suits you and pleases you, you know, you get to hand it on to someone else. Like, it would be cool if you could, it could say it's like a, a time bomb for your tokens, right? Where it would just sort of absorb, you know, instead of absorbing two or three tokens, it absorbed like five or ten tokens after a week or something like that. That would just be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, here's take, take the super mind. After you accept it, though, yeah, every day it takes five tokens from you until you post. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's good. 
happening. Hurry. Every yeah. time you sign into Minds, it's like a countdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just see a little timer ticking away yeah, it's stopping oh, it could screen. be an hourglass, <laughs> but it's like filled with tokens, and then like it's slowly, <laughs> slowly going down the hourglass. <laughs> 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 and then the stress, we're all like pulling our hair. We're, like, <laughs> we're all talking to our AIs. Write this for me quickly! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be great. I I'm sorry, guys. I I have to go to a another job, but no um, problem. Man. Yeah, yeah, I really great. had a great time yeah. spending a morning with you. I just wanted to ask one question before I go, if it's okay. Um, <laughs> Why can't we have like a, a little, like a coffee clutch type of morning thing where, you know, I think we all have like a morning routine where we spend just a couple of minutes and like, it would be really cool if minds would let people who create content and are, you know, could, could open the door and, uh, you know, just sit there with other people that they would like to just connect with and bullshit and, and people could see on your channel that you're in this room you know, come on in, you know, or, or, you know, ask for an invite to get invited into the room to, to join, uh, you know, join the coffee clutch conversation kind of thing. So I, I wonder that couldn't be that hard to, to do where you could just click on an icon when you visit someone and see that they're in a room and, and just join, right? Like, is, is that like crazy? No, no, I don't think that's crazy. I think like these, like the little Jitsi groups are way underused. Like, I think this is something that like channels should be able to implement by themselves without a, going into a group. And then if you're in one that's in a group, it should show on your channel like that you're in a, you know, in a chat. Like that brings more people into talking. I think that's a good idea. Uh, what we'll the what we'll the write write something up for it. Uh, I'll look in. I'll look in the Git for uh, see if there's anything like related or anything yeah, like I that. We, write something up. There was like, I think one time it was on our Minds Gaming show that we talked about like um, doing gathering push notifications or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds oh, like man. it. It sounds really familiar. Like his idea sounds really familiar, but it wasn't like that wasn't the exact idea but yeah i think uh, like if it showed on your channel or like had an indication on your channel that like you were in a group or you were in a chat like that would help chats out a lot like uh yeah like right now like right now it would help like people would just know where to go to come hang out with us right now like uh, <laughs> so like yeah that's something we we definitely gotta uh start start pushing them on sending them some requests and stuff I, I gotta go, but I have infinite respect for you guys. I, I really do. You know, um, I think of the core that, you know, we always reinventing the, the place, but the few people stay around and push the boundary. And um, I'm just so thankful because it really helps me, like we're talking about um, AI and stuff. It really helps me understand the world better by having, having you guys uh, involved. So thanks and have a, have a really great rest of the day okay yeah you too oh you too you too, you too. You too. okay take care fellas take care. later later yeah man but we we got to have fun i, I want to do more of the games uh, uh, i like his idea about like uh like a, a morning or you know we do the weekly kind of get togethers but like if it's like if we could have those like i know we're we just started trying to use the jitsi more often than the hubs but like uh it, you know just getting together is always good but the yeah. the hubs are fun so um but yeah i think the the channel would be cool like a little button to chat with people or even like even like you can in um the minds chat you know you can send them an invitation or a call like you can call them and like That'd be interesting. You know, um, <laughs> Eclipse and, and Jolly were, were doing this. Maybe we we um, do this thing about like doing memberships with each other and and tying mm -hmm. uh, our channels together, like with that membership thing, and kind of like trying to build that out a little bit. And with the, also the intent that we ourselves, by playing with 
the membership models like we come up with ideas like that like so if you're like a member mm-hmm. to imaginarium you, you you get like a special like notification on like what's going on with imaginarium you know what i mean like okay we're, we're gonna like uh maybe there's like a like we don't have like a subscription fee i, th- I mean a feed i mean like uh i can't see the subscription content like it because yeah. it's not we don't make as much content for that like it, i think it gets lost like i don't know if you've made more subscription content or if any you know yeah, yeah. or if jolly did any either uh where you find them sometimes is on minds plus but they also get lost yeah. there yeah no yeah <clears throat> that's something that I'd, i've said for a long time with the whole membership stuff is that it, it, it's the same thing with the super minds right they get yeah. lost in the jumble of posts like there's not a set place that you can go s- see them and it's like uh, and then you have your memberships like i have a membership tab on my channel right yeah. why why when you click that membership tab do not all my membership posts show believe but below that tab like that's where they should be is you click memberships. To, yeah. Yeah, yeah you click memberships it shows who members are and then below it, it shows the post that you made you like that's where the, it should be your, yeah right so like it, that's never really made sense to me like why they haven't done that like i, I know i personally asked for that one <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so like I, that's always bugged me but yeah, then because... now we have the super mods yes it's the same thing i think coming up with super mind games right and so so basically you know within those games we we come up with our own like kind of protocols right so there's like a parameter in the chain like i actually did do it just because i have my own like poetic thing that i'm trying to do but i I make a reference to to 13 poets and so like maybe that that chain ends at the 13th one you know what i mean but like later when we do it we, we 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 have a parameter for the chain so you know like a number that yeah, 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 yeah like this this chain yeah. is at 23 or whatever and then maybe we do right. the, that time thing well there's already a super minds uh, time thing right there yeah well you get like it, it it expires after six days yeah yeah so, oh that's the thing yeah. Yeah. yeah you know like that was a funny thing is like uh it kind of reminds me like I, I needed a reminder because like I almost missed a, a Jolly Llama one. So like Jolly gave me a, a super minds thing and then like I had to do something and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it later. But I forgot. <laughs> and then it was like one day. Here, yeah. It was like one day. I'm like, uh, oh my God. I can't. <laughs> I'm like, ah. I'm like, I wish I would have had like a reminder like, oh, hey, two more days for your super minds. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. by the time I looked at it, I was like, oh, fuck. I'm screwed to do it right, you know, and I kind of wanted to try it to do it right, but you know, whatever. But like, I think that's what we're talking about. But also, too, I think what we could do, hopefully, you know, most of us are already hooked up with Mint Me. The bonus would be kind of like, oh, if you complete it within, you know, three days or whatever, you get like a, you know, um, MGT token, you know, whatever, and there's like. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah. You do it completely in three days. You get like you know whatever the the, the token is in it, and then if you do it in six days, and it's this or whatever, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I think that's good. Like uh, little bonus tokens or bonus tokens. little grabs. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Eclipse could send you know one to uh, the next one to Bob and be like, oh, if you do it in the first day, I'll give you an extra 50 clips tokens on top of whatever the whatever. chain is. Like, yeah. Is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever the chains are, you get that plus the 50, but you know, make sure to pass it on. And then at the end of the chain, you know, that person can use those tokens for whatever, but it, you know, it would help them to promote that that post like you can't force that's the only thing is you can't force people to use tokens for certain things but like so at the end of the chain you just kind of have to hope that whoever has collected the tokens is is going to use those to promote the 
that feed. So. And, and you but know, it, like it, what you were saying is we can't, we can't like control whatever anybody does with the tokens, and nor do we we want to. But like that's why we set up a game. So it's like right, right. in the spirit of the game, this is you know you have to do this stuff. It's like no one's forcing, yeah, yeah. but it is just part of the game. <laughs> You're right, right, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> it's like you don't have to play, so just, just if you don't want to play, that's fine. Just don't take the tokens and not play. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, did you guys want to have a after party later tonight? Okay, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back.